Hey, what's up? So I wanted to talk out sort of a promo way to show multiple shots at the same time. Obviously a technique used in certain films, TV shows. So I just want to go over a way to do that. Some uh, do's and don'ts about doing that. So what happened here, we have this line for the show I worked on. They want David out of their lives. So the story is that these two people want uh, this guy actually out of their lives. He's um, ruining their love so i have these three obviously quick cut shots of these three in love with each other it's a little too fast to be cut but these are three awesome shots this is a promo right we only have two seconds to show this visual information so how are we going to do that so i thought the best way to do that would be to do three boxes and what happened was I saw the finished cut from the editors and this was one version of it this was the other version of it so let's talk about these boxes right here so anytime you're going to look at any video shot you're looking first at the center of the screen and then your eyes trying to figure out where you gotta go right so in the center of the screen is actually nothing it's a huge brick wall so immediately it's only two seconds to see this shot your eye is going to be like wait where am I going oh this guy's here my eye seems to jump there this shot is so pulled far back there's so much dead space in it this is a decent shot and she's kissing the hands over here there's no way I could see this in two seconds uh, another editor did the same thing for some reason he put it on top as opposed to the bottom I do not agree with any ways of making boxes with a split screen uh, vertically um, it, you again my eye cannot figure out where to go my eye is immediately going to the center of this frame and look at this circle I'm making with the mouse there is nothing in there so now my eye has to go to the bottom left or the bottom right and try to figure out and by the time two seconds is there they want it's over. I've, I, I don't know what I just saw. I'm confused. I'm leaving the promo. I'm changing the channel. I'm not watching this ever again. So what I did here, here is another version of the three boxes. And what you can see is obviously they're very full screen. And you might be able to say to me, hey, man, there's nothing in the center of the screen. Mm, I guess I could buy that. But to me, it's so big on the left. You can tell a woman's you know, and man are in love here, or they're, they're resting their foreheads against each other. You can tell that they're kissing, and you can tell she's kissing his hand. And you can get that in two seconds. They want David out of their lives. Here, you don't really get those things. So what happened? How did... How was this made, even in a sense, now now we're going to get into technical avid things. How did you make this as opposed to this? So some of this was three... Um, 3D warps, right? Everything was done basically with 3D warps. And the 3D warp goes in and they pushed the scale back. So this shot is now, you know, bringing this over here, it's 50%. This shot is 50%, and this bottom shot was 100, but it just moved down. So these shots are 50%. What you're going to notice here, and this is the way I would do any three, uh, three string split, which maybe I'll bring another example of one in a second. I don't necessarily want to make the shot smaller. What I want to do is crop out anything in the shot that is unnecessary. So before I actually do the 3D warp, and let me let me bring in these here. If I step in, I'm trying to think the best way to show you this visually. Let's go into the first shot. Every single shot, because this is only two seconds and you don't want a lot of movement, all these shots were slow mode. I think to 30 percent um if you want to go into speed ramps to see how i did that i have a video on speed ramps that would show but i made all three of these shots 30 percent what happens is even you could tell there was a camera moving on the top shot you do not want to have too much movement when you're dealing with these boxes you want everything to be pretty static so that's the first thing all three shots were slowed down okay then let's leave the color effects alone that that's just a sort of a visual interesting just to add a little more i call it like a little color appeal to the whole thing the same this one all three were the same exact color not as visually interesting as this a subtle purple a subtle blue and um black and white with a little blue tint to it so now i have these three shots 
I have the color effect on them, and I slow mode them to 30%. They're on la la uh, layer 1, 2, and 3, right? So you really want to come up with a little bit of a plan beforehand and say, where, where do I want these action of these boxes to be? So obviously this is easy for me, but I knew that this one, I thought that this would be the, you know what? Yeah, let's make it on the right. Let's change it up even from the way I did it. So how would I do this here? The first thing I would do is crop. I'm going to crop out anything I don't think is of interest, right? So let me bring her over to the right. I don't think it works as well this way. I think your eye goes too much to his neck. I'm going to have to do it this way. This was the best way, right? So that crop is there. And now I'm going to go get another 3D warp. And I'm going to alt drag it onto this bottom layer and I'll bring this down here so I can see what I'm doing here and I'm gonna crop this to really quickly to just something more like that Let me left okay whoops whoops and let's move that over here let's see what we got so far we got something like that and I'm going to move this over to the right. Now we have that line, which I think is absolutely necessary when it comes to boxes. Notice how I'm making now two keyframes, and that's going to be an annoying problem. And in the first box, I'm on that keyframe. And I'm going to show you a cool trick to fix this a little bit, but let's get the third box in there. So the same thing I had already decided beforehand to first let me alt drag the 3D warp onto that. Go into effect mode. And where's my effect editor? Usually I have this on the other monitor. That's why this is a little challenging for me to do live. And I'm cropping just to get her kissing the hand. And again, I might do something cool to blow that up a little bit. Wow. I see. All right. So let's imagine that I did it this way. Obviously she's way too low in this box but this is really actually one of the coolest things about avid the stepping in and doing another 3d warp so what i'm going to do now just to make things a little easier is i'm going to render these three and i'm going to show you the one example of what i would do on the top so we have these three boxes they're static, right? There's movement in it, but they're static. And I say to myself, oh my God, I want to move this bigger. She's in the wrong frame. Avid, you can step in, or I'm going to use this segment tool and just do that. Sort of steps into what the layers underneath it. I'm going to drag another 3D warp in there. And now I'm going to use this 3D warp through, it's like compositing and After Effects. To, I can make this bigger. I can move it up down around and it will stay within the parameters of this box here one of the coolest awesomest uh tricks and things that i do use a lot so let's do in that case right but here i have two keyframes that's going to be a problem i'll delete that one and we're going to render this once i get out of segment mode and now i am rendering and now i have a three box setup done really quickly and I really believe a big black border is the best way to go with these boxes if you're doing some sort of really graphic thing maybe you have a certain color for your show you might want to do something like that so I see how I'm bringing the uh, border down a little bit the thick black border especially with boxes imagine you have four five six boxes with different shots in it it really helps separate the shots it really highlights the fact how oh, these are boxes and this is the look and it does it really quickly and that's what to me is effective in showing three shots in a promo right there one two so again this is three cuts three of this so you'll be in a lot of situations where wow you almost have too much good b-roll for a little section for a vo or somebody's bite boxes are key Boxes are cool, but do not make them 3D warp small back there boxes. Crop out the good area, and then based on what you crop out, make your boxes. Could be more than three. Doesn't have to be half like this. And use just, just move them left and right and up and down, leaving the black underneath it to make your black borders around the boxes. Right? Okay? So how did this play out in the real promo, in the real show? Let me play that for you right now. 
And it's been nothing but problems in our lives. They want David out of their lives. But what will two DNA tests prove? Right. So that is um, the box look. I cut this in there. Hopefully you got something out of that. Please subscribe to the channel if you got something out of that. And go to avidbeer.com if you know someone that needs to learn Avid. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next video.